Hi. Um, this is really just what we needed, eh? Just what we needed. And I'm hoping when people leave uh, with your purchased books or ordered books, you think about, well, what is the one thing you get to do to contribute to our salvation? Whether it's making a donation to the Democratic Party, dare I say that? Uh, or whatever, Planned Parenthood, or volunteering, but there can be, there's one thing you can do. Um, because since election day, or what I've come to call the zombie apocalypse, um, <clears throat> the thing that is really, I think, dangerous, it is the zombie apocalypse, um, is the fear that we can't do anything. And we just have to overcome that. So this poem of Pat's seems especially appropriate for the moment. Boots are being polished. Trumpeters clean their horns. Chains and locks forged. The crusade has begun. Once again, flags of Christ are unfurled in the dawn, and cries of soul saviors sing apocalyptic on airwaves. Citizens, good citizens all, parade into voting booths and in self-righteous sanctity ex away our right to life. I do not believe as some that the vote is an end. I fear even more it is just a beginning. So I must make an assessment, look to you and ask, where will you be when they come? They will not come, a mob rolling through the streets, but quickly and quietly move into our homes and remove the evil, the queerness, the faggotry, the perverseness from their midst. They will not come clothed in brown and swastikas or bearing chests heavy with gleaming crosses. The time and need for ruses is over. They will come in business suits to buy your homes and bring bodies to fill your jobs. They will come in robes to rehabilitate and white coats to subjugate. And where will you be when they come? Where will we all be when they come? And they will come. They will come because we are defined as opposite, perverse, and we are perverse. Every time we watched a queer hassled in the streets and said nothing, it was an act of perversion. Every time we lied about the boyfriend or girlfriend at coffee break, it was an act of perversion. Every time we heard... I don't mind gays, but why must they be so blatant? And said nothing, it was an act of perversion. And every time we let a lesbian mother lose her child and did not fill the courtrooms, it was an act of perversion. Every time we let straights make out in bars while we couldn't touch because of laws, it was an act of perversion. Every time we put on the proper clothes, to go to a family wedding and left our lovers at home. It was an act of perversion. Every time we heard, who I go to bed with is my personal choice. It's personal, not political. And said nothing. It was an act of perversion. Every time we let our straight relatives bury our dead and push our lovers away, it was an act of perversion. And they will come. They will come for the perverts. And it don't matter if you're homosexual, not a faggot. Lesbian, not a dyke. Gay, not queer. It won't matter if you own your business, have a good job, or on SSI. It won't matter if you're black, Chicano, Native American, Asian, or white. It won't matter if you're from New York or Los Angeles, Galveston or Sioux Falls. It won't matter if you're a butcher or femme, not into roles, monogamous, non-monogamous. <laughs> it won't matter if you're a Catholic, Baptist. 
atheist, Jewish, or MCC. <laughs> they will come, they will come to the cities and to the land, to your front rooms and your closets. They will come for the perverts. And where will you be when they come? Thank you. Thank you, Pat.